Genom was, Genom, Genom was is a big fish in a small pond, so <laughs> it's not an issue. He's a big fish in a small pond. That's why for us, who are rational, understanding and grounded in the NRM, I have said we still want General Museveni in charge. Come 2026, I am campaigning for General Museveni to come, come back as a flag bearer. It has never been evident like it is now that we need transition more than ever. You know, uh, like five years back, ten years back, transition was only talked about within the opposition. But these days, even NRM has realized that transition is imminent. Ever since Mohoz Kanagawa came out to, to show interest in the presidency, many things have been going around. I remember when he tweeted about uh, 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 getting Kenya, capturing Nairobi in two weeks. Even the foreign minister never came out to issue a statement. Oriem is, is a coward. Because I think they, they, they feared the son of the president. Muhuz even came out and this the NRM party that it lost track. The Secretary General Todong never issued a statement. He's a coward. Todong, you are a coward. The leader for Eastern Region for NRM Mukula never came out to issue a, a statement. He's a coward. The leader for, for, for Western, who is now sick, uh, 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 that fat man, is a coward. Bariomuz. Yet, if it was an opposition member who came out with such issues, they, were, they would be on radios, on TV, talking about how NRM is good. But when the son of the president came out, they never came out. Why am I saying this? When Muhozi tried to disrespect Otafire through the, his tweet, because Muhozi has been trying to, to take on the old guard. But when he took on Otafire, Otafire fought back. He showed him who's bo who boss is. I think Otafiri is not a coward among those people. In, in fact, Otafiri has taken on Mohoz to an extent that Mohoz stopped tweeting about Otafiri. Otafiri is not a coward. Otafiri is representing people who want the president to be in power. Because I think if, transit, if, if, we, are from, if we are to transit from President Museveni, the old guard will go with him. So they don't see that reality that Museveni must go with him. So for them to stay in influential positions, they must fight hard for Museveni to stay in power. That's why they, they are fighting tooth and nail. And that's why it's very difficult to find a, 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 an old guard who fought with President Museveni who wants him to go. There is none. And it is going to be a, a very hard thing for Mohoz to cut out his is nailed in the political space. Because first of all, the people who would have helped him still want his father in power. And even if they, they don't want his father in power, they also desire power. I'm telling you that if Museven is to go, there are very many people who would, who would want to be in, uh, in that position, like the Otafires. They're in the good age, they fought, so they are seeing as if the sun is taking away their, their right to be president, if Museveni is not going to contest. So I think this battle between Otafir and Mohoz is trying to show Mohoz that you are nothing. You are nothing if it was not us. Other people who never fought in the bush, like the Bariomu, see, they kept quiet when NRM was being dissed by the, by the first son. The secretary of NRM Todong, they just kept quiet. But Otafire showed him that, no, you are nothing. So the battle between these two is trying to draw the line between the old guard and the new guard. But even within the NRM party, there's people who want transition. Even the Speaker of Parliament once talked about the old guard disrespecting the the young generation. I th questions of 1986, when some people came from the bush, might be the questions of today. But the answers are totally different. 
pastors are not those ones where you have to remind us that you came from the bush, you had guns. No, the narrative is totally different. I told one of them, I said, if you had your disagreements, I was born on 10th November 1980. I wasn't part of your disagreements. The transition issue is more evident now, like it has never been before. And it will depend on how we handle it. Sad will be that day if Museveni will die with, and we fail to transit in a peaceful manner. That is my word. Thank you for listening to me.